checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. I wanted to do an update on Mong Coin. This is a project that I spoke about the other day that I said that I was bullish on. And um, we've seen a lot of meme coins drop, okay? Meme coin season has took a hit at the end of the day. There's certain meme coins that are going to stand the test of time. And there's certain meme coins that probably will just die and go to zero. Mong is one that I think is bullish, okay? I still think that this is bullish. I still think that this has potential okay guys if you haven't seen my previous video i talked about why um many reasons why i invested in this project um if you look at this uh pullback <coughs> this is it being quite a big pullback quite a hard one to hold actually if you bought the top of course if we go from the peak it's actually down at the moment at the time of recording this video 84 percent or just just under 84 percent it's actually down okay guys but could this be the bottom um as you can see i've got this descending triangle drawn okay guys so i think in, at least in the short term you're gonna get a breakout of this triangle you can see that we are breaking out right now we are breaking out of this triangle okay which is why i think that this could be a good trade for you to take a good short term trade okay guys and um, it's not financial advice do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose but this could be the bottom for all we know okay guys i've seen it many times <coughs> i'm not um feeling the greatest guys but i've seen it many times um break out of this level breakouts and you know um people just you know it's, it's people's behavior okay guys if a lot of people are looking at this like it's a breakout um then a lot of people trade it like it's a breakout a lot of people will buy it and it could potentially go up that's why i'm looking at this like it's a good short-term trade a lot of people will probably take profits as well if they get a break especially if they're kind of overwhelmed with holding it and you know they they may people might want to break even people want, might want to uh, get out with some profit or skim a little bit off just to minimize their risk all those sorts of uh, possibilities are on the table but you know it, the chart is looking uh, when i say it's looking good it's looking good in terms of a buying opportunity right now okay if you bought it over here you say the chart is looking terrible if you mine it over here you say this chart is looking super bullish okay guys so that looks like a potential um breakout potential upside for that where we are right now of course it is the weekend so volume is going to be a lot less than what it was you know over the last couple of days okay guys but even still there's eight and a half million volume over the last 24 hours on this particular coin now crypto bitlord who created mong okay guys this is the founder creator of this project he says here that mong's first shakeout went from 2 million to 650k and then 200 million okay so from 2 million to 600 down to 650k <coughs> And then to 200 million is now at 40 million okay so um you know what what i mean you do the math on that what could be the next the next target on that okay guys now this guy is a very hyped guy um this is him right here he's fully doxed so that is a good thing i mean we don't see many meme coins with the founders fully doxed okay we're getting a lot of videos um coming out about it i think i'm gonna watch this video once we get off the stream um i want to check that out but um, yeah, again, they've got the NFTs and all that sort of stuff. You know, there's going to be a lot of people talking about this project. Uh, you know, uh, they say, you know, buy, buy the scariest dips. OK, if we go on the uh, if we go on the four hour. OK, look at that for a dip. That is a very scary dip, I would say. If we go on the one day, it's going to look, you know, really scary. OK, guys, so that is the one day. All right, guys. And a bounce. I, I could see a bounce here. Uh, a nice green candle. That would be a much very much of a relief for many people i would say okay guys so you know this thing went absolutely crazy from its inception okay guys so i wouldn't fade this project uh, personally you know i think there's a lot of potential for it for the simple fact that you know that they are still building there's going to be an airdrop that I, I don't know much about it but crypto bit was talking about some kind of airdrop um for token holders because uh, they're going to have a second token um, so there's going to be some sort of airdrop for those who are holding. Uh, there will be a snapshot. In fact, let me. I don't want to lose this video, so I'm going to open another Twitter page. But if I can find an actual tweet from Crypto Bitlord, um, see, look, people are jumping back into. I'm back into Mong with a micro bag of 0.6 E for add more. I think it could easily do a 10x from here. That would be really nice. A 10x from here. 
Uh, that would be wonderful, actually. So uh, we talked about the snapshot. Okay, so the snapshot. Um, there's a snapshot for uh, Mong. Uh, Qcoin. Qcoin is accumulating Mong as well. That's something that I forgot to mention. Yeah, there's going to be a snapshot, some sort of snapshot for some sort of airdrop. Um, I, I did check into an AMA that Crypto Bitlord did, but, um, you know, I, I really, I, I didn't, I, I think I was just watching it in the background, to be honest. And, you know, I heard, I heard something about it, but I didn't really pay too much attention. But it's going to be, be for those who are holding the project. We don't know when the snapshot's going to be. He... He, he he says it may be within the next 14 days or two weeks. I do know that much. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, that might be another reason to hold on to this token. But I just wanted to make this video because I know I spoke about it the other day. When I did, we were up in this area. Okay. And even since then, it's pulled back another. If you thought it was a buying opportunity, then it's pulled back another 56%. Okay. So, yes, it's, I mean, it hurts. It does hurt when you buy into uh coins tokens and they drop okay guys like you know we would much prefer that we, we buy into it and they just go straight to the moon okay but that's just not the way this game goes and you know a lot of people tell you dca dollar cost average because you know you get you end up with a better average price when you're going with some here some here and some here okay guys but um i'm not giving you financial advice at the end of the day this is youtube so do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose once again i want to leave the links in the description these are my thoughts among this could be a potential trade, okay, guys? But um, if it doesn't go that way at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> you can't be right 100% of the time. But, um, yeah, it does look like, um, you know, it, it, it does look like it would do that to me, okay, guys? So I'm going to leave the links in the description once again. Do me a favor. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like, and comment down below. Tick the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.